Hello everyone! Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Party Edition. Last episode we left with a thousand pounds, as we have done so far with each episode. So I'm gonna try and see if we can either try and walk away with more than a thousand, or try and even get to 32, or maybe even a million. Who knows? It could happen today. Let's do this. You already know the drill. Single player, classic millionaire, warm up. Okay, it's time to enter your name. S H E A. Now it's time to choose a contestant. Who will it be? It's a really nice I choose warm up because I'm terrible at the game and I get three chances. So that's cool. Uh, let's go with. How about we go with. Uh. This man. Choose what costume you want your character to wear. Well, this is nice. Are we ready to play? Let's play. And I am going to get into bed because it's quite cold. Whew. There we go. Nice and snuggy. Snuggy, snuggy. Here we go, people. I'll let you redo it. Choose your answer from the buttons indicated in the answers window. Chances and lifelines are used in this game, and the number depends on what difficulty level you've selected. You can use lifelines by pressing the buzzer or R1 button and making your selection. If you get a question right, then you rise one place on the money tree. If you get a question wrong and you don't have any chances left, then you're eliminated from the game. Let's do this. Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello? <laughs> yes. Hello? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this! Who wants to be a millionaire? You're 15 questions away from the virtual million pounds. If you're ready to play, take a look at this for one hundred pounds. What name is given to the section of an orchestra that includes drums and cymbals? <sighs> it's a percussion. Well done. You've got yourself one hundred pounds. <laughs> I'm not nice. Boast. One hundred pounds. <laughs> Look at this, it's worth £200. Which of these is a form of fishing practiced as a hobby? Uh, oh, um, wrestling, wrestling, angling, wrestling, carpeting, <coughs> port. I think it's A. It's right, £200, easy money. Nice. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Here's question number three, or three hundred pounds. Which of these can mean a disorderly haze that is also the name of a fairground ride? Uh, oh, uh, Higgly Piggly, Hodge Hodge, Hubble Bubble, Helter Skelter, Helter Skelter. Well done, you just won yourself three hundred pounds. I know this. I was going to say Hubble Bubble, but I just noticed Halter Skelter. Twelve questions away from the million. This is worth £500. Don't rush. Have a look at it. Alright. Which Conservative leader stood against Tony Blair in the 2005 general election? Um, I know this! Um, I know this! I know this! Um... Uh, a lifeline. Use a lifeline. Um, uh, phone a friend. Oh, I know this. Um, oh, I, I forgot. Um, it's either Michael Howard or John Major. Hey, hey, this is Anna. Hello, this is Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Blimey, hi, blimey, hiya, Chris. <laughs> Your friend here has reached the 500 pound question. <laughs> but does need some help to get through to the £1,000 milestone. Let's go, Chris. Please help, Anna. 
Michael Howard. That's the answer. Michael Howard. Thanks for your help. All the best. Good luck. Well, they seem pretty confident then. You've just won yourself five hundred pounds. I knew the answer, but I, I forgot like which one. I, I mean, I was going to pick Michael Howard anyway. So, next question. The next question guarantees you one thousand pounds. These are the easiest questions, and I'm having and I'm having to use lifelines. All right, next question. Queensway, the first Mersey Road tunnel, links the Brewer of Birkenhead to which city? <coughs> Mersey Road. I think how um still got two left. Audience help! Okay. I I don't know! Audience. Audience, if you're ready, please vote now. Wow, that's a Okay, point. Liverpool. You seem pretty sure there. And you're right to be. You've just won one thousand pounds. <laughs> Okay, we've won a thousand pounds. Let's try and see if we can win more. That's one thousand pounds in the bag, guaranteed. You can double that with the next question. Here it comes for two thousand pounds. From where in the 16th century did Sir Francis Drake bring tobacco back to England? Uh, Asia. That's the wrong answer. No. One down, Dang two it. chances left. I like my first ring the light instincts for Asia. You're now no. guaranteed a thousand pounds, whatever happens. I can't take it back. Here's question six for two thousand pounds. Oh. In which decade did Margaret Thatcher become the first female leader of a UK political party? Um. 1970s. Congratulations. Yes! Oh, I know this question. Nice. You are now just nine questions away from a million. And you're looking at some big gains. But remember, it's big losses too. Take a look at this for £4,000. Which type of deer is which type of deer found in Britain is also known as the barking deer? Oh, um. Uh, you still got your 50 50 lifeline. 50 50. Okay, you're going to use your 50 50 lifeline. Computer, take away two wrong answers, leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. So, A and D are out. Looks like it's B or C. Road barking deer, Munchchuck barking deer. I think it's C. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. It's wrong. That can't be. Two down, only one chance to go. Oh goodness! I need to focus. Getting serious. I said, no, I have no more lifelines. You've got two thousand pounds, and there's just nine questions between you and one million. This question is worth four thousand pounds. Which of these? Which of these is the title of a nineteen sixty nine western, which has starred John Wayne, won an Oscar? Uh, true confessions. <coughs> true confessions. You had £2,000 and now you don't. You've just given me the wrong answer and lost one. What? What is it? True quit! How am I meant to know that? Well, you leave today with a cheque for £1,000. Oh. Not a bad amount. Well done. Please come back soon to try for more on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, I think I will. Thank you all so much for watching. We failed miserably to win more than a thousand, but we got some money. Thank you and God bless.